Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders Report, and you remember, join the watch party Monday night football up against FKCs. Get them in the chat. It's going to be Jeremy Juggs and I. We're going to be rocking and rolling. It's going to be one hell of a time, and we beat the Donkeys last week. I need your help this week. So hit that subscribe button. Turn on those notifications because it's going to take a team effort. You're watching the Raiders Report, Mitchell Renz from Chat Sports. Last week, I shaved my face, rocked the mustache, and I said, I'm keeping this bad boy until the Raiders lose. It's still here, y'all. And I also, last week, I did a Raiders preview and keys to victory. I wanted to switch it up a little bit. So I'm a superstitious person, man. We got to keep it going here. So Raiders keys to victory up against the Chiefs. Let's go to the very, very first one. I need the elite Derek Carr to please stand up. You can't get the B version of Carr. You definitely can't get the C version. If you want to beat the Chiefs and the games that Derek has won from a career standpoint, he's 3-13 and 13. in the wins. He plays at an elite level. So, Derek, I know you can do it. You're, it looks like you're going to have Hunter Renfro. Looks like you're going to have some of your main options there. I need the elite Derek Carr to please stand up. Now, his career numbers up against the Kansas City Chiefs in 16 games. An 81.7 quarterback rating, 3,879 yards, 24 touchdowns, 17 interceptions. And when you think about it, you're like, all right, with Carr at quarterback, the Raiders are 3-13. and 13. I do not like when people are like, oh, Derek is... 3-13 and 13 against the Chiefs. No, when the Raiders have had Derek Carr, that's their record. Quarterback record, I don't really like it as a stat because there are situations where you can have a quarterback that doesn't play well and you still win games or vice versa. And I do think everything that DC's been through since him being a Raider, some of it's on him as well. I'm not sitting here and saying it's not on him, but not all of it is on him. So this is what I do know, though. I know if the real Derek Carr, the elite Derek Carr, the car that people tell me this guy is a top five quarterback. If we get that version, you got a chance. Because in the wins, he's got 312.7 yards per game. 2.3 touchdowns per game. 0 0.3 interceptions per game. A 100.2 QBR. So please, Derek, need you to stand up this one. All right, you also predicted how many passing yards. Will DC throw against the Chiefs? And we're actually going to make this the pinned comment on today's video. So you're about to get hit with the YouTube ad break. So please scroll on down and let me know in the comments how many passing yards will Carr throw against the Chiefs. Next key to victory up against KC, don't let Mahomes get hot. You're not going to be able to stop Mahomes for all four quarters. You're not going to be able to do it. But can you limit him when he just starts chucking it all over the field and everyone's looking around like, oh no, oh no, how can we slow him down? Because from a career standpoint, Mahomes versus the Raiders in eight games, 2,546 yards, 22 touchdowns, three interceptions, a quarterback rating of 112.4. Let me just say this. That is bananas good. Like, it is insane. You look at that from a 16, 17 game sample size. That's over 5,000 yards, over 45 touchdowns. I mean, those numbers are nuts. In fact, I found this very interesting stat today. This is the quarterbacks that have had the most success up against one opponent. Now, this is multiple games, not just one game. So the most points per game, Peyton Manning, okay, he averaged 40 points a game when he played the Eagles. Patrick Mahomes averaged, in their offense, 37.4 points per game against the Raiders. Drew Brees averaged 37.1 against the Giants. So in NFL history, Mahomes has been the second best quarterback in NFL history against one team. You can't let Mahomes get hot. So when you think about this game right here, you got a 1-3 and three team against a 3-1 and one team on Monday night. In Arrowhead, it's going to be loud. The atmosphere, I already know, is going to be insane. But you know what? The last time the Raiders beat the Kansas City Chiefs was in Arrowhead. When they were more than a touchdown underdog. 
The NFL, anything can happen, man. And I know that. The fact that Kansas City lost to Indianapolis, proof. If you play your A game, you can beat the Chiefs. So let me know who you got. Type LV for the Raiders or KC for the Kansas City Chiefs. We will get a lot of Chiefs fans in our comments. So all I ask is this. If you come across this video, take five seconds. Literally only takes five seconds. And please give me an LV. Now, if you are going to bet on the Raiders here, why don't you do it with some free money that we're hooking you guys up with. So if you go to chatsports.com slash Raiders, promo code Raiders125, you get 125% deposit bonus, which means you get $125 for free to bet with. Put down 20 bucks on the Raiders to beat the Chiefs. If you lose, it's free money anyway. It's a great deal. Not only are we offering that deal, we're also going to hook you guys up with a free jersey. So for first time bet US users, yeah, I said it. A free jersey. So find me a place where you can buy a legit Nike jersey for 100 bucks. It's not easy. In fact, I'd almost say it's almost impossible. So not only are we going to give you $125 for free to bet with, we're also going to throw in a free jersey. This deal is only going to last until kickoff. So as soon as the ball gets kicked off against Kansas City, deal's over. If all you heard was free jersey, email me, jersey at chatsports.com, and I'll get you the details. Sound good? We got a bunch of jerseys. I got to get rid of them, so please help out our sponsors. Let's go to the next one here. I want a Josh Jacobs all-you-can-eat buffet. I'm talking rolling into CeCe's Pizza, rolling on a Delta 8 gummy type of all-you-can-eat buffet. Hell, any kind of gummy. I don't care what it is. That's how much I want Josh McDaniels to pound the rock with Jacobs. Because this season, this man has been incredible. 70 carries, 336 yards, two touchdowns. That's fifth most in the National Football League. Not only that, he right now, according to the next-gen stats, is the top three running back because he's also making guys miss. He looks really phenomenal. It's not only that. It's also in the receiving game as well. Over the past two weeks, 10 receptions. They didn't really use him a lot week one or week two, and then, you know, kind of is almost like Josh McDaniels. Like, oh, shit, Josh Jacobs is the best running back we have on our team. Yeah, it, he is, Josh. Continue to get him the football. The other reason why I want Josh to be the focal point of this offense, because if you can get him going, this is what I want to see Monday night. This is the only Patrick Mahomes I like. Right there, on the sideline, Patrick Mahomes, where he looks frustrated, he looks confused, he looks like, ah, oh, man, my little brother is a freaking idiot. That's the type of look that I want to see. And how do you do that? You pound the rock with Josh Jacobs, and you get that man going. Because the longer he's out there, the less he's out there, which that means good stuff for the Raiders. Let's go to the next key to victory here against the Chiefs. Show me those red zone TDs. Spam TD in the chat. Show me those TDs. Because the Raiders, I'm going to show you some crazy stats about the red zone. Remember a world where we were all complaining, ah, oh, John Gruden's red zone offense sucks. It did. Greg Olson's red zone offense sucks. It did. And then we were all like, hey, we got this new guy. His name's Josh McDaniels. He's going to fix all of the Raiders' red zone problems. Well, that's not quite it. Right now, the Raiders are tied for 29th in the NFL in red zone scoring percentage. This is touchdowns only. So essentially, the Raiders are scoring a touchdown on 44.4% of the time when they get in the red zone. That's not great. You know what is great? You just you got to convert. Look at this. Red zone scoring attempts per game. So the Raiders right now are the second best team in the NFL at attempts in the red zone. If you don't know what the red zone is, it's in the 20 yards, okay? 20 yards to the end zone, which means four and a half times per game, the Raiders are in the red zone. Yet, you're 29th in scoring touchdown percentages. You notice which team was number one? The Chiefs. Chiefs are also, I believe, in the top five or six for overall points scored in the red zone. You need to be better in the red zone if you want to beat the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, before I give you that last key to victory, here's something key for diehard Raider fans. Giving me a follow over on Locals. Join our awesome community with over 2,000 people. You can go to chatsports.com slash week five to enter my NFL Pick'em Challenge. If you're a big fan of the Raiders Report on YouTube, we're going to do a special feature, almost like a presented by show to the person who picks 
the most right in our NFL Pick'em Challenge. We do two extra videos, an extra live show. All you got to do, scan this QR code right here. Whip out your phone. That's the only thing you should be whipping out. And give me a follow over on Locals. Not going to say that. Seriously, you guys are going to have a lot of fun, I can promise you. Let's go to the final key to victory here. Win the turnover battle. This one's obvious. And I feel like every time I say it, it's an obvious thing. Well, duh, Mitch. And you're right. I'm going to look at every single person right now into the dead eyes of the camera, and I'm going to say the Raiders are not as good of a football team as the Kansas City Chiefs. When that happens, you can't turn the ball over. Or you got to win the turnover battle. You can't give Mahomes short fields. No chance. But you know what? If you can force a few turnovers and then you can have a short field, that's how you're going to win the game. The Chiefs can beat you when they bring their B game. The Raiders got to bring their A game, and you can't turn over the football. I mean, even when you go back and look at a lot of the games this season, if the Raiders don't turn the ball over against the Titans, they win. If the Raiders don't turn the ball over against the Cardinals, you win. If the Raiders don't turn the ball over three times with interceptions to the Chargers, Probably win that game. If you don't turn over the football, you have a much more legitimate chance to take down KC, especially because you're seven and a half point underdogs. If you're a seven and a half point underdog, man, you got to bring your A game, man. And hopefully, y'all are ready to rock and roll with me and Jeremy Chuggs on Monday Night Football. I know it's going to be a hell of a time. So, how about this? If you made it this far in the video, give me your score prediction. What is your score prediction for Raiders Chiefs? Seven and a half point dogs, 51 points is the over-under. I want to know what y'all are thinking down in the comments. All right, let's finish up today's keys to victory versus KC. What are they? The elite Derek Carr that I know can happen. He needs to rise up. He needs to stand up in this game and be that leader. Don't let Mahomes get hot. If Mahomes starts shooting the ball like Steph Curry... And a clutch game, you're in trouble. I'm telling you right now. Get a hand in his face. Get two hands in his face. Get a whole man in his face. Josh Jacobs, all you can eat, CC's buffet. Pound the rock, pound the rock, pound the rock. Make Mahomes stand on that sideline. I want to see some red zone TDs. No more field goals. We need to convert in the red zone. And then if you win the turnover battle, you can beat the Kansas City Chiefs.